There we go. All right. So, what's up, Drew? What's up, my boy, Drew? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So happy to see you on here, bro. Um, if you got some time, I recommend sticking around and taking some notes because this is going to be a practice. This is something that you're going to implement. All right. I'm going to share with you guys how exactly how I am going to clear my head, clear my mind up for clarity, for clear thinking, so I can just make sure this is the closest thing to a guarantee that you can hit your goals in 2021 and beyond. All right. And so I realized that I have to invest way more time into my thinking more than anything else. Um, you know, I've, I, I started to see that, all right, man, um, this whole going 100 miles an hour, it's cool and all, but your thinking kind of went to shit this year. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Um, and I've said this, and I've said this plenty of times, and, you know, I actually, I haven't. I've, made one post about it, but if I'm going to have a vulnerable moment before I dive into this, the reason why I really had to make this happen was because I was not proud of the person I was this year, especially for the first little, for the first half of the year. Um, definitely wasn't the most, definitely wasn't the person I wanted to be. And, um, yeah. And so I realized I was like, Adrian, you can't carry that into next year especially since my goals are much more grand than they've ever been. And they're very, very like, you know, like, wow, okay, you're going to do something like that. Then there's no way you can be this person. You have to understand that if you want to really achieve your goals, if you really want to hit your goals, if you really want to make next year better than it was this year, then you cannot, I promise you, you cannot be the same person. Look at the results you had in your life this year. Like, look at your results. Look at, look at what you did. And understand the only reason that that happened. The only reason your results ended up the way that they did is not because of COVID. It's not because of COVID. It's not because of all of the crazy stuff that happened this year. I understand that that this can be a, a tight line to cross, right? However, I am one that would much rather preach responsibility over victimization every single time. And because I see a lot of it going on this year, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to talk on this. But just know that the results you got are in direct correlation with the person you were this year. And if your results have just been the same consistently over the last years, the last few decades or whatever, it's because you, you're not changing. You're just the same freaking person. I looked at my results from this year and I was like, definitely not happy with the person that created those. I was like, all right, so the results I created this year, I don't want that next year. And so what do I need to stop doing? Who do I need to stop being? And what do I need to start changing? And this is exactly the practice that helped me get extremely clear. And literally, it painted a picture in my mind that said, Adrian, just think like this and everything will change. And I was like, all right, so let me run with that. So this is the exact, um, this is the exact practice. Bits and pieces came from somebody named Brooke Castillo. I love giving credit where credit is due. Brooke Castillo is an amazing life coach, one of the best life coaches in, in my opinion, one of the best. And she does this thing called a thought download. I've been implementing this thought download for a while now, and it's very powerful. It is extremely powerful. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to walk you through exactly what you're going to do to get your mind right and get your mind, your, like your thinking clear to be able to get to where you want to go in your goals. But understand all the planning and stuff that you need to do. This is not that kind of video. If This is not about like planning out and reverse engineering our goals. If you're an entrepreneur or businessman, I can imagine you freaking know how to re-engineer uh, re your goals by now, okay? And if you don't, 
check out some books or hire some mentors. You should not be doing business without a, without a mentor. You should not be doing business without a mentor. Okay, so first and foremost, understand that you are only where you are. The person that, okay, again, remember, your results were created by the person you were. But the person you were was created by the thoughts you were predominantly thinking. The thoughts you were dominantly thinking created the person you were last year, this year. I mean, it's basically last year, all right? Anyways, the person you were was created by the thoughts that were dominantly in your mind. So understand that your thoughts literally, they literally dictate the trajectory of your life. And this is, it's mind bulb. It's like kind of mind boggling because. All right. For whoever was watching live during the last video, I am sorry. Uh, this is the continuation of that video. Somebody called me and it was a very important conversation, so I kind of had to go with it. Um, it was horrible timing. Anyways, we're back, okay? So we're gonna pick up straight up from where we left off. I'm not gonna go all the way over again. We're gonna pick up straight up from where we left off, okay? So remember, your results were created by the person you were being, right? However, the person you were being was completely created by your thinking, okay? Now, your dominant, and I, when I say thinking, I mean your habitual thinking, your dominant thoughts, your dominant thought pattern. I want you to understand that your dominant thought pattern creates your life, like pay, like, Invest time into your thinking. That's exactly what this practice is going to force you to do is to invest time into your thinking. It can be, it can be a, an amazing experience because you're becoming aware of so much. This is awareness, overdrive, what we're about to do right now. So your thinking is what brought you, your thinking is what made up the person you were. So now what is driving your dominant thinking? Why are you dominantly thinking the way that you're thinking? Like, ask yourself, why am I dominantly thinking like this? Because I want a better year next year. COVID or not, I want a better near year next year. And guys, just so you know, even if there's a second, third, fourth, fifth COVID, guess what? You can still make it the best year of your freaking life. Don't make circumstances make your like decisions on life, all right? Anyways, if you wanna know the power of your, your thinking, tune in to next week on my podcast. You're gonna see exact, I'm gonna dive pretty deep into that. But again, once you ask yourself, why am I thinking the way I'm dominantly thinking? I want you to understand why you're thinking like that. It's because of the beliefs you're holding. Your thoughts and your emotions and your imagination, all of that is preceded by your beliefs. Your beliefs happen first. It's a belief, right? However, we look at what a belief is. A belief is nothing more than a thought that you just continuously think so much that you think it's true. Here's a belief right here. I am broke. That's a freaking belief. Like I want you to understand. I am broke is a belief. I am fat is a belief. I am depressed and sad is a belief on a level. There is a belief there that you look at as a fact of life. You look at it like it's a characteristic of life. Just because you're broke doesn't mean life is broke. That's not a characteristic of life. However, you attach it to life, right? So now that you understand 
Okay, there's some beliefs now. And I really, really, really have to start figuring this out. Because you can't carry your same thinking into next year if you truly want to win next year, if you want to make next year the best. So this is what you're going to do. Once you want, now that you know, okay, my beliefs are creating my habitual thought process, right? If you believe that, if you believe that, um, if you believe that you, you have to work hard to be successful, but you don't like hard work, your thinking will always be a lazier, like it's going to be a lazier kind of thinking. You're going to look for jobs that uh, that are more sedentary. You're going to look for situations where you don't really have to work so hard. So understand it's the belief, all right? There, there we go. It's the belief that creates everything. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to sit down. And this is the thought download part that I got from Brooke Castillo. All right, then I started throwing my twist on it. So Brooke, thank you for getting me started on this. It was pretty, pretty awesome. So you're gonna sit down and you're gonna write out every thought that comes to your head. This is a thought download. Every thought that comes to your head. And when I say every thought, I mean absolutely every thought. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna share with you guys exactly how my thinking time can go. I should not still be struggling. I am the shit. I need people like Bijel on my team. 2021 will be a huge million dollar year. I just know it. My next, my next thought was I'm scared. The thought after that was I, I, I don't have enough time to do this. Look how sporadic this, these, things, these thoughts can be. And some of these thoughts, you see they start to like carry a little, they will carry a little rhythm, so to speak, right? Anyways, we got these thoughts all laid out. So you get all of the thinking that's in your head and then you're gonna notice, God, these thoughts, I think a lot. You're gonna see, man, a lot of these freaking thoughts, I'm thinking a lot, like a lot. Then from that point, you're going to, on the next piece of paper, you're going to write what belief system, what core beliefs do I hold that are, that is creating this thinking? This is a powerful question because asking yourself this question will start to reveal to you. Man, these are some beliefs that I'm just holding. And beliefs can also be assumptions. Here, here's an assumption of life. Life is short. What if you just believed it was long? You would experience life way different than somebody else. Right? So look at the assumptions you hold too. What's an assumption? An assumption can, can be something like life is hard. That's an assumption. An assumption can be something like the world is evil. People are evil. That's an assumption. And it, it, but it's an assumption that is a belief though, right? You never really question it. You just assume, yeah, it must be true because everybody says it's true. So yeah, it's true. So things that come up, whatever comes up when you ask yourself this question, write it down. Write it down. Some things will begin to come up. The reason why I say they will come up the reason why I say they will come up is because if you ask yourself this question, the brain can't leave open loops. The brain will need an answer. It will look for an answer and it will find them. That's exactly why people in Hollywood can get you watching a two hour movie the whole time. Because at the beginning, something happens that leaves an open loop in your mind. You're like, oh my God, I got to know what happens to, to Amy. Does she end up marrying John? I don't know. But anyway, oh my God, I got to do, figure it out. So you stay on the, you, so you watch the movie all the way till the end, right? The brain needs to close open loops. So start to figure out what all of those beliefs are. And then... You're going to look at that paper, but don't just focus on the bad beliefs. A lot of people, when they do this, they just try to focus on negative shit. 
Look at the good ones too that are serving you. So just think of all the beliefs that you're right. You write them all out. You're going to be like, all right, which ones do I not want to carry with me up until next year? Which ones have not been serving me? Which ones are not the ones that I want? You're going to kind of like put a line through those or something. Then you're going to get all of your other, your deliberate beliefs and you're going to put those on a list together, but you're not done yet. Now, you're going to ask yourself, what are my top five to ten goals that I want to achieve in 2021? You're going to ask yourself, again, what are the top five to ten goals that I can achieve in 2021? Make write these goals. But remember, guys, a goal has to have a number in it and it has to have an end date, a completion date, a deadline. If it doesn't have a deadline, it's just a dream. It's just a dream. It has to have a number and it has to have a deadline. So you're going to set your goals out and you're going to say you're going to set them out in in um, in a. Uh, you know, uh, in present tense, like one's on my wall. I'm so grateful now that I have my very first investment single home, single family home, my own investment property, right? So you're going to write out all of your goals and you're going to ask yourself, now what would I need to believe to make these goals true? Your brain will start to feed you answers. Start writing down, okay, I would believe this. I'd have to believe this. I'd have to believe this. And then ask yourself, if these goals were already manifested and they were real today, what kind of thoughts would I be thinking? How would I be thinking if I made $1.2 million this year? What kind of thoughts would I be thinking? Start writing out all of those freaking thoughts. Now you know. Wow. So if I just do this, if I can think like this, I will start to make different decisions because I'm thinking differently, start acting differently and creating different results that are in direct alignment with where I want to go. You become an energetic match for exactly what you want to create in your life. But you got to begin to start thinking greater than your circumstances. Begin to start thinking greater than your circumstances. If you can do that, your circumstances will line up with the thoughts you're holding. But understand the inside is what creates the outside. And if you want to get crystal clear on your goals, ask yourself, how would I be thinking if that was already true. If I, if I had 50,000 downloads on my podcast, what kind of thoughts would be going through my head? If I were already 150 pounds, how would I be thinking? Start writing those thoughts out. I promise you, I know this sounds ridiculous, but if you can think before it happens, it will happen way faster. If you can think like a millionaire, if you believe what a millionaire believes, you're going to think what a millionaire thinks, you're going to do what a millionaire does, and you're going to have a fucking million dollars. Plus, like instead of have, do, be, it's be, do, have. I'm going to be this. These are the habits that this does. And I'm going to create that. But understand, you cannot go into 2021 with your same thoughts. You have to be willing to think differently. You have to be willing to think differently. This is real, guys. When I did this, this took me about five hours. My whole planning in total for 2021 is about a seven hour day just sitting down pen and paper planning. But this process took a big chunk of that too. This is a time consuming process, but it's an investment of your time. 
Your thinking is the most valuable asset that you have. Your mind is the most valuable asset that you have. Take care of it. Invest time into it. Invest time into it. Start thinking different. I'm telling you, if you can think sharper and smarter, everything in your life gets easier. Straight up. Everything. Well, it's not, it, yeah, it, it's not that it gets easier. It's that you just get better so shit feels easier. <laughs> right? Anyways, I hope that this was helpful for you. If you missed the first half of this, it's on the other live video that that somebody called me and it was an important call. I had to go through the call. So we got to set that. Go watch the beginning of that. You'll get to and then come to this one and you'll see. All right. And if you're listening on the podcast, this is all going to be together anyway. All right. So. Hope this was helpful. You're going to freaking crush 2021. I know that you can, but if you want to, think differently and you will.